What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, we as Cowboy fans, we are puppets to the Jones family and what the Dallas Cowboys do. We can get mad as we want to be, but the reality is we have no control over anything that happens. You know, the, the coolest thing that I saw in that debacle of a game that we had against Green Bay, where it was an utter disgrace by my football team, was seeing Jimmy Johnson's veins literally popping out of his neck with the passion of wanting to win and succeed. That fire and that passion and that desire to just win, I don't know is just is, is there with the Cowboys. Now, here's what I always say, and this is what Jimmy Johnson would say. If you're going to talk the talk, then walk the walk. I know I'm not a Dallas Cowboys player. I'm not. I know that I'm not any big celebrity or big person that people actually care about. I am relevant in my little world and things, but in my little world, everything that happens is relevant. And when I go out on a limb and I talk smack, I talk smack. I, I, I make no bones about it. I make fun of Philly 500 and the Eagles Nation and things like that. I go out there and I say what I believe my Cowboys are going to do. And I'm wrong. When I'm wrong, I'm right here. I talk the talk and then I walk the walk. I stand up. Believe me. Believe me. I got trolls out there taking clips of me falling out. Because it literally made me sick. Cowboys made me drink. Fall out. And they're making memes. And my wife is even cracking up on it. I take that abuse because I put myself out there. And that is being a man. You want to celebrate when you win? Well, you got to be there when you lose. And see, this is the problem. This is the problem. And, and people say, go get Bill Belichick or let's go get Mike Tomlin if he's fired. Bill Belichick and Mike Tomlin aren't going to put up with what's going on here. And I, I honestly think maybe that's what it needs to be. Because, see, when you think about Jerry Jones, they're getting together $50 million to do a Netflix docuseries on Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones's team was a effing embarrassment. Effing embarrassment. They choked. They looked like some dog shit. They did stuff that nobody has done before. Nobody's won 36 games in three seasons and not been to an NFC Championship game. Just haven't. Nobody's let a seven seed come in and mollywop you in your house. And this is where you start to wonder, is winning really important or is it really about the drama? Because Cowboys lose, doesn't matter. You're still the biggest franchise in the world. They just talk about you more. They do. You got everybody swirling. We suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, Philly. Oh, Shit on you. Right. Excuse me. We suck. That's right. We suck. But you've got everybody waiting to find out what are you going to do? Are you going to fire Mike McCarthy? Are you going to bring in Bill Belichick? Everybody's wrapped around your little finger. If you're a narcissist and you want attention, exactly what you're doing is getting just that. And here's where I have a problem. Micah Parsons is incredible talent. Micah Parsons is an absolute beast. Micah Parsons puts in the work 
to try and be the best player out there. And when he says, I want to be not just a Hall of Famer, but the best one that's in there, I believe that he will either succeed at doing that or die trying. He will give you every bit of that. But here's the problem. I'm remembering how beginning of the season before, when Micah Parsons was going to be on Undisputed. He was going to be a weekly segment on literally the worst thing possible. And the week before he was supposed to start, the Cowboys lost. And he was a no-show. If you're going to talk the talk, walk the walk. Now, I think the best thing in the world was that he wasn't on that show. And instead, with Bleacher Report, he comes up with his own weekly podcast. And when I saw the day of the game that Micah Parsons is out there blasting another player on the field, like he is one of the talking heads in one of the shows, I knew we were in trouble. That's not your job. That shouldn't be your focus. And if you think that Bill Belichick or some of these other coaches are going to come here to be part of the circus, which is about getting as much publicity as possible as opposed to winning, you're not going to get it. And if Jerry Jones continues to wait and let the vultures just circle and circle and circle, you miss out on Things that make you better. They say you cannot change or you will not change. I don't care if they're an alcoholic or a drug addict or sexaholic. That you won't change until you hit rock bottom. I keep hoping that the Cowboys have hit rock bottom. But then we find a way to find a new rock bottom. Jerry... You ain't getting any younger. You ain't getting any younger. Time is short. Time is of the essence. I have lost too many great friends in the last year or two that are a hell of a lot younger than you are. If it's about winning, then start getting the winner's mentality and understand that you guys believing in your own guys is not going to win this shit. You doing things the way you've been doing them for the last 29 years literally is not going to do it. Until you do right and let football people and hire the best out there and bring in and spend money and take some risk, we're going to just keep doing the same damn thing. Jerry, you talk the talk. Walk the damn walk. Peace.